a lot of people have been saying that educational content needs to come out. Videos need to come out. So that's what we're going to do starting out here. It's going to be Bryce in Dallas versus Rust in Ja. I just want to point out where Rust is right here, right? This is a fancy serve, right? Like, granted, this is 2v2. You don't have three people to cover it. But against fancy serves... Yeah, they look like you should block them, but they're so, they're so predictable. If you literally just sit right here and right here, then, you know, th this ball literally lands on this right X here, right? So, we'll, we'll just watch. We'll... Right, right. So, if they're literally both staying down, they can get to that very easily. So, that's kind of one of those things is I've kind of preached it a lot in I don't always follow it. In fact, I screw up a lot on it too, guys. But versus fancy serves, stay down. Sir. There go. Instead of running towards the ball, he needs to be setting up to where in this circle he wants to hit it from. Granted, this probably needs to be what we call one more, right? So this is all the way back on this back line here, right? Don't be afraid to call one more. So Dallas can set here, you know, Bryce could just call one more, let the ball float forward a little bit, get another set, get a better hit from in this general area right here between the lines. So, all right, so Bryce is hitting from here. Do we see anything wrong with it? Well, I have, a, I have one thing that I always like to talk about with hitting. Never hit it from the back court, right? So if you are beyond this line, which... Clearly, he is, right? Don't ever hit it from back here. Just keep moving it forward. You can get as many touches as you want. Don't ever hit it from the back court. Because in all honesty, think about it. He's hitting from like right here. Let's do it off the red. It has to travel all the way to here before it gets hit, right? If you're hitting it from here, it only has to travel that far and you can get a more downward angle on it, right? traveling half the distance before it gets to the net it's a lot harder to read they have to be a bit quicker about it don't ever this is no go right don't ever hit from back here unless it's like an absolute must like for some awful reason like they're both off the, like let's say they both go off the court right they both go for an offside and they tip it down and you're back here, you can just send it right across to try and get the easy score. That's worth it. That's a that's a low risk, high reward play. But if you're up like this, they're both on the court. Don't ever hit from the back court like this. Essentially what you have to do is you have to come back and jump forward to the ball. So you're, you're already gonna be off timed on the set and not gonna be able to, you know, go in a downward motion with the ball like you want to. So, essentially, you want to peek at the same time the ball does, right? So, these two lines are you and the ball. You should peek at the same time, or maybe you just slightly before it. And then, at the same time, you should be traveling down together, you and the ball. This is really what gets you those delay shots. And Bryce is well ahead. We can already see the ball is kind of moving down already. This shot is more, th this is how you get NA slaps, guys. When you're moving in an upwards fashion and the ball is moving in a downwards fashion, you end up slapping into the ball, but you don't get a lot of power into it, which means the ball just continues on its downward trajectory. There's not a lot of forward force because, let me let me switch over to my, uh, my slim again so you guys can see it. So here's the ball, right? Here's the ball. This is my hand. The ball's up here. You're coming like this, and you slap, right? The physics in this game are pretty accurate. So you go like that, and that's how you get NA slaps. So yeah, that that's what ends up happening here with Bryce. He goes to set his own or hit his own set. He's late on his jump because of it because he has to step back and jump up. But yeah, he's hitting from back court. The angle he gets on it, if he's up at the front line, perfectly fine, right? But it's the, this combo of things that's going to hurt him here. So a quick double hop is going to land you right about here, right? 
It's great for for getting shots underneath the feet of players who are constantly doing the jump float, jump float. Because the jump float, jump float is going to basically put you where you can make contact with the ball right here, right? So that there there's a difference in jumps, right? The float, let's talk, the float, the first jump will put the top of your hand right about here. The float will actually take you to right about here, right? So if you jump the second time, it's not going to take you as high, right? So there's about that much more distance between it. You can usually get some good quick shots off of a quick double jump like that. Um, but yeah, your teammate is hitting, right? Uh, most of the time, if they get blocked and it's not a straight up block, and we know that Bryce likes to slap on blocks, right? We know that Russ likes to slap on blocks. The ball is almost never going to come out past this line here, right? So, Ja, I see you sitting all the way back here, right? A lot of times what I'll do is, let's say, I'll set from here to here. I, you know, that's that's our set. This is where our set is going to be. We'll just go triangle for set, right? That's where the set's going to land. I'm immediately filling into this position right here because I know if it gets blocked, it's probably going to go down in this location, right? So the, the hit's probably going to come across the net right about there. If it gets blocked towards the middle of the court, I have it. If it's blocked to the outside of the court, I can dive for it. If for some reason it gets tipped to the back, I can still make the play on this, probably even walking because it's going to get tipped, right? I can walk all the way back here as the ball travels in the air. So as the hit goes in, and this is something you do in real volleyball too, like in real volleyball, you'll, you know, let's say the, ha the hits go into the outside, right? So this is where the set's going to land. Your back row player here moves into this position. Your middle back row moves into this position. Your other back row is going to step forward like this. Your middle blocker, if if he's a, if it's a high set to the outside, he he'd be stepping in on this. And then the setter is just kind of hovering in this area because everybody's collapsing on this area to catch a possible block. That the setter's here to you know run back and grab anything on the outskirts, right? So. Yeah, that, that's that's how it's done in real volleyball. Like, try to mimic the same thing here in Slappy Ball. Trust me, it works. So one thing I see a lot of people do wrong when slapping in when the setter's at the net, right? So the setter's right here. They're going to end up setting it straight up here, right? A lot of people will jump and slap right here. And it ends up coming straight down on the setter and straight back up, right? because they hit it at the top of the net. Instead, I want you guys to wait till the ball gets, say, three-quarter height, follow it up, and then slap it because the trajectory, even if it's straight down, is going to end up at this line here. And that's exactly what you did there, Jaw. I don't know if you meant to do it or not, but it puts it past the setter, which means that they're, they're going to have a harder time to pick it up, especially with how fast the play works. Additionally... The other player on the team was all the way over here, so that's what made that work. It just came straight down in here and lands. Setters right here didn't get to it, right? So that's one thing I like to note with a lot of players is don't immediately slap it when it's at the top of the net. Wait till it gets a bit higher so you get that angle on. So yeah, that that's basically the the VOD review of that game. You know, it's there's a lot of like fundamental stuff, right? And it, it's just, it comes with playing the game.